Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Pocono Raceway for the Pocono 60. This is going to be race number 29 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And with the season winding down, let's go through your current top 10 in points. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fourth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Fifth will be the 25 of JTM. Sixth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Ninth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 799 of Mike Check. Looking at your team and chassis standings, Douche Motorsports still leads the way over MBR. Amish, Amish Buggy Racing is third. Fourth is going to be Aces to Zed Motorsports. And rounding out your top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here today for this Pocono 60, shaping up to be an exciting into season four. And they are getting those cars dialed in as we saw your points leader just go past. And I think it's about time, so let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the 51 of AJM. And on his outside, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Starting third will be the 25 of JTM, and on his outside, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Starting fifth will be the 13 of King of the Aces, and on his outside, the 72 of Duchess. Starting seventh will be the 49 of Jetman, and on his outside, the 666 of Pistol Pete. Starting ninth will be the 300 of Resemble, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So that's a look at your starting top 10 today for this Pocono 60. AJM is going to be leading us down for MBR with his teammate, the 25, a JTM there behind him. What do you, I think we're looking at three MBR team drivers in the top 10, starting in the top 10. But they're going to have a lot of contention here today with the 356 on the outside, as well as that 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Ice Cream, I believe, is going for win two or three, no, three or four this season. I think it might be three. It might be four. I can't remember. She's won both. She's run two road courses. So it might be win number three, four she is looking for. AJM, I think, is looking for win number two. JTM has zero wins on the season, so he's trying to get a win under his belt before the end of the year. Your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, will be starting in the 23rd position today in front of his, his rival right now, the 20 of Adam B5000. Adam, I believe, won the spring race here at Pocono. He is as JTM leads, or I'm sorry, AJM leads us down to take this green flag. The green flag is out. We're underway here at Pocono. They're already starting to get these cars fired up. AJM down to the bottom in turn number one. Only three turns here at Pocono. The tricky triangle as the 49 of Jetman working underneath the 356 of Ice Cream some days. So Jetman into the third position. JTM down to the inside of the 51. So JTM trying to lead lap number one here at Pocono. AJM on the outside. JTM a little bit slow there. He's going to lose a few spots as AJM works down into turn three. So he is trying to get a lap led here as well. He's trying to lead from the pole. If he could lead the most laps, maybe get a W here underneath his belt for win number two this season. So lap number one, your leader is the 51 of AJM as we'll bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scoring across your top, the top as the 49 of Jetman powering his car down to the inside of the 51. So AJM gives up the lead right there to the 50, the 49 of Jetman and, pos and loses a spot to the 300 of Resemble. So take it over your lead here on lap number two, the 49 of Jetman. He's out in front of that 300 of Resemble, the 25 of JTM. Back to the fourth position as we see the 329 and the 72 of Duchess and the 10 of Scooter breaking away from the 777 of Seabass as the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days falls back to currently in the sixth position, it looks like. Probably a little bit farther back than that, as I don't think the timing and scoring is quite updated yet. 
So AJM is trying to power that Zen Dodge for MBR, trying to catch back up to the back bumper of the 300 of Resemble and possibly the 49 of Jetman. The low line through turn number one is the way to go. The high line through two and three is, is the preferred line there. So Resemble is going to try to make a play for the back bumper of this 49 of Jetman as Jetman leans off a of turn two. I'm going to call this the back stretch as front stretch, second stretch, third stretch. I don't know. They're in a straightaway into turn three as Jetman's going to continue to lead here. But that 300 of Resemble definitely has a good run here as we're going to see if he drops down to the inside as we have lots of battling in the back of the pack back there. So Resemble content to stay in the third position or the second position right now as we see the 13 of King of the Aces and the 329 of Heck of a Duber getting a run down to the inside of the 25 of JTM. He's going to lose three, four, five positions here as he loses one to the 72, the 10, the 329, and the 13. So JTM loses four positions on this lap after getting passed by the 13 of King of the Aces. So Douche Motorsports is trying to keep their current lead in the team standings with the help of the 72 and the 329 right now as we head down the front stretch looks like the 72 of duchess trying to work down to the inside of the 329 of heck of a duper we'll see what she does here into turn one she's going to get a good run i think we might have a car blowing up the 49 of jetman the leader his car has just blown up going into turn one so jetman his car is just getting squirrely right now, so tough break right now. Your leader, the 49 of Jetman, up in smoke here on lap number five after leading the three laps here. So look, we're watching him head down to the pits. He's off into the grass trying to keep that car down to the inside. Uh, looks like Resemble's going to take over the lead, but... Tough break for this 49 of Jetman as we watch him struggle back to the pits here at Pocono. You can see that smoke coming from underneath the hood of that 49 M&M's Dodge for MBR. And you always wonder, you always have that feeling in the back of your head as an MBR driver. We had one engine go. Hopefully it's not all of them. So... We're watching Jetman pull into the pits here, and we're going to see if that puts him out for this race. Long go down pit road as he still had a little bit of fire under the hood. Not like actual fire, but you could hear the engine running. As we see a battle for the lead right now between the 51 of AJM and the 300 of Resemble, so they're going to come off a of turn four. As Jetman heads into his pits and... Looks like he's got maybe tires on. Maybe it was a tire issue, folks. Maybe it was a tire issue. Four tires for the 49 of Jetman. So we're seeing tires going on. Maybe that was just a tire issue. We'll keep an eye on him as we watch the 300 of Resemble and the 51 of AJM battling it out for the lead with the 13 of King of the Aces. So Coda who is a Pennsylvania driver, is trying to win one here for Pennsylvania again. So you recall, like I said, the, th the 20 of Adam B5000 won earlier this season here at Pocono, representing the state of Pennsylvania. As we see the 300 of Resemble still leading here, 49 of Jetman still in the pits. They are working desperately on that car, getting back out, trying to get some points. As we have it like three, four wide into turn one, the 25 of JTM down to the inside. He's going to make a pass on both the 10 and the 13 of King of the Aces. So Scooter and, and Coda back a position as the 25 of JTM makes that pass. The 72 of Duchess, I'm not sure if she was in uh, what position she was in there. She was actually behind JTM. So she's going to move up. A spot as Doer was trying to make it three wide into turn two with the twenty with the ten and the thirteen. That's going to allow the four twenty at Queen of Hearts again. Another 
Pennsylvania driver right there for Aces Dezet Motorsports. And it is official. The 49 of Jetman is out of this race with an engine valve. So I was hoping for him that it was just the uh, just tires, but uh, it was definitely an engine problem. They tried to get that thing fixed on pit road, but he's going to drop out of this race with a blown engine valve. So we're still focused in on your leader right here, the 300 of Resemble. He currently leads the way here at Pocono, having led four laps here today, taking over for that 49 of Jetman when his engine let go. Excuse me, your pole sitter, the 51 of AJM, hot on his bumper right now as they head into turn number three. And down the front stretch they go, with the 51 of AGM right there, hot on his bumper. We're going to see if he drops out to the inside here. Going into turn one, he does. So AJM battle for the lead right here. As AJM down to the bottom, he's going to make that pass on the 300 of Resemble. Again, that low line here through turn number one is the preferred line if you get that run. It's definitely going to help you as we see the 300 Resemble falling back to the second position. Resemble, who currently resides in the points race he is currently back in i was looking i was looking at the starting lineup resemble has fallen all the way back to 27th so far this year and ajm's back in 31st so if you recall these two drivers actually had a great first half of the season going ajm and resemble both in the top 10 in points and as the season has worn on they've just fallen back here so as we see the 300 here 25 is not close enough to make a run on him there as we head into turn number one. We'll check back here through the pack as we see Scooter just out there on an island by himself. Coda has fallen back to the sixth position. We'll che check back through this field. We see the 203 assigns for Douche Motorsports up to the eighth position now. He looks like he's able to get around the 420 at Queen of Hearts, the 356. Of Ice Cream Some Days, your second place starter back here in the 10th position now. And we'll see your leader here, the double zero of Mudbone, their points leader. He's falling right behind that 40 of Veteran Chaos. And I thought Vet had some back bumper damage, but he doesn't. We'll check in on the, there's the 88 of NM. And we're trying to find the 20 of Adam B5000. Currently runs back in 31st, right in front of the 95, uh, Zed Brunna. So it looks like we have pit stops on the track. Watching your point, your pole sitter, he's into the pits. The 20, the 300 of resembles in. So right side tire is going on both those cars. Looks like it's going to be a four tire stop for both the 300 of resemble and the 51 of AJM. We're going to see if that MBR crew can get him out as he is down and he is away. So... AJM is going to beat the 300 of Resemble out of the out of, out of the pits as we see the 25, the 72. So Duchess looks like she might take over the lead here. The 25 led one lap. That's good for him. Um, as we see probably most of the rest of the field coming in here. I think we're going to see the rest of the field coming in as your leader on the track is possibly going to be this 51. We're going to follow him around. Actually, let's jump up here to the 25 of JTM. He's got right side tires going on. You see right side tires going on. That 72 of Duchess looks like four tire stops for both the 72 and the 25. Left side tires going on to the 25 of JTM. Duchess is down and away. She's going to beat the 25 out. Here comes the 25. He's going to beat out the 10. So she is going to fall into possibly the second or third position. Resembles around her here. So your leader on the track is going to be that 51 of AJM here on a lap with about 11 laps to go. So we've passed halfway here at Pocono with your leader on the track, possibly that 51 of AJM. I'm guessing one, one stop race here today 
as we see the 25, we'll go through once once timing and scoring completely updates, we'll go through your your current order. Again, the only person out of the race in heartbreaking fashion is the 49 of Jetman after he led three of the first four laps here today. But this 51 of AJM for MBR and the Zen Dodge has taken over the lead. And we'll go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 51 of AJM. Second's going to be the 300 of Resemble. Third's going to be the 72 of Duchess. Fourth is going to be the 25 of JTM. Fifth will be the 10 of Scooter. Sixth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Seventh will be the 203 of Signs. Eighth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Ninth will be the 777 of Seabass. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Checking in on your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone currently resides in the 18th position. Looking at his competition, the 20 of Adam B5000 is back in 30th. The 544 is 27th today. Zed running way back in 32nd. JTM is the highest one right now, and he's as he runs in the fourth position. And he might have some contention by that 10 of Scooter any minute now. And Jetman, Kung Fu Beer currently runs in the 25th position. He is sixth in points, seventh to Jetman. Again, you know his 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 story out of this race. The, eight of, the 40 of Veteran Chaos currently runs 13th position. He's eighth in points. The 11 of TC Roberts currently back in 26th. And the 799 of Mike Check currently run in in the 29th position so i think if it ended right now your leader is still going to be that double zero of mudbone he's still going to be leading these points but we're going to jump back through the back of this field as we see the 20 of adam b 5000 three wide right here is the 71 the 96 the 799 the 20 the 8 as we come off of turn four battle in the back of the pack right now between all of these drivers So Moon Bunny slipping up there in front of that 96 of Nico as we watch the 799 and the 20 of Adam B5000 get good runs here through turn one as well as that 07 of Douche Baggins right there. He's going to get a good run probably on that 96 of Nico. The 95 of Zed Brunna try to push in, get out of the second to the last position here today. As we see the 544 down to the inside, he looks like he was trying to make a pass there. As we see the double zero of Mudbone residing behind the 90, 999 of Deviant right now. We'll jump back up here to the front of this field as it looks like the 25 of JTM is going to get passed by that 10 of Scooter. But your leader on the track with seven laps to go is... The 51 of AJM, he actually has led the most laps here today. Again, only 24 laps of green flag action here at Pocono. So AJM with just a handful of laps to go is your leader up by one second over the 300 of Resemble. And I'm not sure, you know, at some point, if Resemble keeps inching a little bit closer and closer, he's going to be able to get that draft on the 51 of AJM. That could make that could be the difference between a win and a loss here. As Resemble does knock two tenths of a second off the lead of the 51 of AJM. So Resemble could be in the catbird seat here as he is slowly starting to catch up to that 51 of AJM. So this drop bear racing. Dr. Pepper Toyota could be your eventual winner here today at Pocono because he is catching up ever so slightly to that 51 of AJM. AJM is definitely going to have to put the hammer down here at Pocono if he's going to try if he's going to keep this win. Long front stretch here as we see resemble knocks about a half a second off of that lead and i think that's the big difference is, is he's getting that draft on the 51 of ajm down the front stretch and that's really just allowing him to cut that lead just significantly every single lap 
The bad thing here is, is that the 51 of AJM, if he gets passed by the 300 of Resemble, possibly going into turn one, that could actually allow that 72 of Duchess and the 10 of Scooter to make that same pass on him. The 25 of JTM needs to also just needs to get that hammer down for this Sonic Dodge and get up here and catch up to the back bumper, that 10 of Scooter, as we now see Resemble to the back bumper of the 51. So there's the pass into turn one. We're going to see if everybody goes with him. The 300 down to the inside. The 51's going to let him go. The 72 is trying to make a run here. So Duchess is going to be able to get that pass possibly on that 51 of AJM as they head down the straightaway here into turn two. So AJM is going to lose, lose two spots to the 72 and the 10. As the 25 sneaks up behind him. But that now, with four laps to go, the 72 of Duchess may be able to run down this 300 of Resemble, and maybe the 10 of Scooter may be able to make a play for the lead here. As they head down the front stretch, that's going to give that draft help to the 72 of Duchess. We're going to see if she tries. Scooter's down to the inside. He's making a play for the second position, so down to the inside is the 10 of Scooter. He's going to knock... Oh my goodness, almost into the back bumper of the 300 of Resembles at 10 of Scooter. Pulls it down way low into the turn, trying to make it, trying to just not hit that 300 of Resemble. That's going to allow the 25 and the 51 to push down to the inside of the 72 of Duchess. JTM gets way down there in the marbles on the bottom of the track as he tries to get underneath the 72 of Duchess. He is going to stay in his current position as we watch scooter has now caught back up to the back bumper of the 300 of resemble as jtm dropping down to the inside he's going to try to break the draft on the 203 of signs so scooter is trying to take his second win here this season and he is trying to Take away the win from the 300 of Resemble here at Pocono. So he's going to run down into turn two and three. Resemble kind of lets him go here. Scooter way down in the marbles. So off of turn two, Scooter's going to lose some position here to the 51 of AJM. They get caught down there on the bottom. They lose it into those marbles down there as AJM to the outside. Battle for second position between the 51, the 72, and the 10 right now as they head down the front stretch. Scooter way down to the inside. He is going to try to make a run, and he's probably going to keep the second position here as Duchess swings up in front of the 51 of AJM. AJM down to the inside of that 72 of Duchess. She's going to push a little high off of turn one. This is not just a battle for the third position. This is a battle for the points championship as we see the 25 at JTM to the back bumper here. I believe we're going to get the one to go on this lap or this could be our <laughs> this could be our final lap here as resemble off a of turn 4. Or turn three, coming down the front stretch. He takes the white flag here, and he's got an insurmountable lead right now over that 10 of Scooter. As we see the 72 of Duchess jumping down to the inside of the 51 of AJM. So AJM slides high. Here comes the 25, his teammates. So JTM is going to take away that position from the 51. That's going to put... The 72 of Duchess into the third position, your leader into turn two. It's a 300 of Resemble as it looks like Douche Motorsports may be having a miraculous day here as the 51 is going to lose that position to the 203 of Signs. So Resemble off of turn three, coming down. He's going to take your checkered flag here today, your winner. For the Pocono 60, the 300 of Resemble. So Resemble able to make that 
pass with just a few laps to go on that 51 of AJM. And he will take your win here today. He's actually going to win, lead the most laps after taking away that lead. So Resemble leads 10 laps here. Let's go through your finishing order. Your winner again is the 300 of Resemble. Second's going to be the 10 of Scooter. Third will be the 72 of Duchess. Fourth will be the 25 of JTM. Fifth will be the 203 of Signs. Sixth will be the 51 of AJM. Seventh will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Eighth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Ninth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So amazing run today for that 300 of Resemble. Fantastic race for him. Let's see. Next week, we head to Kentucky for the Kentucky 60. So that should be an awesome race next week. Let's check in on your current points, and you'll see who is leading those. It could still, it's probably still Mudbone, but you're seeing those points here on the screen. Let's check in on those team and chassis standings. I'm guessing Douche Motorsports extends their lead, possibly over MBR, but you're seeing those points for team and chassis here. Again, congratulations to the 300 of Resemble. Very much needed win here this season as he was currently in the 27th in points going into this race. So very much needed race win for him and his team and sponsor here. That'll help the Drop Bear Racing team, who's currently fifth in the team points. Uh, but yeah, congratulations today to the 300 of Resemble. He is your winner for this Pocono 60. And until next week at Kentucky, take care.